Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of Brain Maths. In this video, we want to look at simultaneous linear equations in fractions. In our previous lesson, we have seen how to solve simultaneous equation using both elimination method and substitution methods. In this case, we want to see how to simplify this equation and then obtain the value for x and y. So the first thing we are going to do in approaching this kind of question is to find a way to bring this equation into a linear equation. So we find the LCM of 2 and 4 in equation 1 as given and the LCM of 3, 5 and 9 in equation 2 as well. So the LCM of 2 and 4 is going to be 4 while the LCM of 3, 5 and 9 is 45. So we multiply through. We say multiply 1, that is equation 1, by 4 and equation 2 by 45. So this is going to give us equation 1 by 4, 4 times x over 2 plus 4 times y over 4 equals 4 times 1 over 2. And the second one is 45 times x over 3 minus 45 times y over 5 equals 45 times 1 over 9. So when you simplify each of these, how many two can you get in 2? 1, 2 in 4, 2, 4 in 4, 1, 2 in 4, 2 in 2, 1, and 2 in 4, 2. Also, the second one, 3 in 3, 1, 3 in 45, 15, 5 in 5, 1, 5 in 45, 9, 9 in 9, 1, 9 in 45, 5. So when you bring all this together, we are going to have 2 times x, which is 2x plus 1 times y, which that's going to give us y, and then 2 times 1, 2. So this is going to serve as our new equation 3. And when you come to the second one, we have 15 times x, that is 15x minus 9 times y, that is going to give us 9y equals 5 times 1, 5. So this will be our new equation 4. Now, the next thing we have to do is to find which of the two variables or determine which of them we are eliminating or substituting for. So let's use elimination method here. If you look at y, the coefficients are not the same. If you look at x as well, their coefficients are also not the same. So we have to multiply equation 1 by the coefficient of y in equation, equation 3 rather, by the coefficient of y in equation 4, which is 9. So we say times 9 here. And the coefficients of y in equation 3, we multiply equation 4, which is 1. So let's multiply out. 9 times 2x will give us 18x. 9 times y plus 9y equals 9 times 2, 18. So this is our new equation 5. Also, one multiplying equation 4, 1 times 15x will remain 15x. 1 times 9y minus 9y equals 1 times 5, that is going to give us 5, which is equation 6. So, let's determine the sign that we are using to eliminate uh, y. So, if we put plus here, that means plus times minus will remain minus, and 9 times 9, and uh, 9 minus 9 will give us 0. But if we use minus, let's say minus, for instance, minus times minus will give us plus. 
So that is going to be difficult for us to eliminate y. So in this case, we are using plus as our elimination sign. So we have 18x plus 15x, that is going to give us 33x. 9y plus minus 9y, that is going to be 9 minus 9, which is 0 equals 18 plus 5, that is 23. Since we are looking for the value of x, we divide both sides by the coefficients of x, which is 33. So we say x equals 23 over 33. Having gotten the value of x, the next thing for us is to come back to equation 3 and 4 and substitute this value of x to get a value for y. So we say substitute. x equals 23 over 33 in equation 1 and equation 3 rather our equation 3 is 2x plus y equals 2 so anywhere we see x now we replace that with 23 over 33 so let's say 23 over 33 which is the new value of x plus y equals 2. So the next thing is to multiply 2 by 23 over 33. So anytime we are having a fraction that is multiplying a number outside a bracket, if the number is a single number, then it multiplies only the numerator. But if it is a fraction, let's say 2 over 1, as we can rewrite 2, we are going to multiply the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 33. So this is going to give us 46 over 33 plus y equals 2. So the next thing is to eliminate this denominator. And I've shown you this time. So that number, anytime you have a denominator in any fraction, find the LCM of that and multiply everything by the denominator or the LCM. So we are going to multiply through by 33 so as to eliminate the denominator. So we say 33 times 46 over 33 plus 33 times y equals 2 times 33. So this cancel out and that is our target. So we are left with 46 plus 33y equals 66. So we are looking for the value of y. So we have to collect like times, take 46 to the other side. So we will be left with 33y equals 66 minus 46. As we can see that 46 is positive on the left hand side. So we are going to be having 33y equals 20 then we divide both sides by the coefficients of y which is 33 and then our y equals 20 over 33 so therefore the value of x from our calculation is 23 over 33 while the value of y equals 20 over 33 let's try to look at another question that is also involving fractions if you look at this set question on the board you will realize that it is quite different from the one we just finished solving and the difference is that in the previous question our variables are the numerators while in this ones they are the denominators so how do we solve this kind of problem without having a each? What we are going to do here is to first find a way to rewrite all these equations and see if there is any similarities between the variables. So we can rewrite equation 1 as 2 times 1 over y plus we can write this as 3 times 1 over x 
equals 12. I believe you can say that we have not done any magic or performed any magic because 2 over y can be written as 2 times 1 over y. If we say 2 times 1, we still have our 2 over y. So let's go to the second one. We have 5 times 1 over y minus 3 times 1 over x equals 9. So looking at this equation, it is obvious that 1 over y is common to the y's and 1 over x is common to the x. So now we find a way to simplify this equation. And that is by looking for another variable that is not x and y to replace 1 over y and 1 over x. So we say let p equals 1 over y and then q equals 1 over x. We are doing this in order to simplify the equation. So 1 over y represent p and 1 over x is going for q. So we have 2, 1 over y, p, plus 3q equals 12. This is equation 3. And then 5y, uh, 5p rather, minus 3q equals 9. Equation 4. So the next thing we have to do now is... To decide which variable we are eliminating and if you look closely you will see that the coefficients of q are uniform so we can decide without wasting our time to eliminate q so which sign are we using to eliminate q is the next thing if we put minus here as a sign of elimination minus times plus or minus rather will give us plus which is going to increase the number of q but instead of using minus, we'll use plus. As plus times minus still remains minus. And 3 minus 3q three minus 3q will give us 0. So we say 2p plus 5p. That is going to give us 7p equals 12 plus 9. That is 21. Since we are looking for the value of p, we have divided by 7 and our p will be equals to how many seven can we get in 21 three so we have gotten the value of p to be three so this three now will be substituted into either equation three or equation four so let's substitute it into equation four substitute p equals three in four so our equation 4 reads 5p minus 3q equals 9. So let's substitute for p. 5 times 3 minus 3q equals 9. That is 15 minus 3q equals 9. Minus 3q is here. Let's bring 9 in and take positive a uh, negative 3q outside. So we have 15 minus 9 equals when it goes outside it becomes positive 15 minus 9 is 6 equals 3q and we divide both sides by the coefficients of q so our q now equals how many 3 in 6 2 so we have gotten the value of p we have gotten the value of q but the question given to us is to find the values of x and y so don't forget that we said let p equals 1 over y and q equals 1 over x. So you will now come back and say, but p equals 1 over y. And the value of p that we got is 3. So you substitute for p, 3 equals 1 over y implies when you cross multiply 3 times y will give you 3y equals 1 times 1, 1. So we are looking for the value of y. We divide both sides by 3. 
Therefore, uh, y equals 1 over 3. Also, our q equals 1 over x. And in our solution, we find q to be 2. So when you substitute for q as 2, when you cross multiply, you have 2x equals 1, which implies that we divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 2, and our x equals 1 over 2. So therefore, we can conclude that the value of x is 1 over 2, while the value of y is 1 over 3. I am going to leave you with these two questions on the board. If you look at question number one, our variables are numerators. So you should know how to go about this question. Go and try to manipulate it and get the values for X and Y. And if you look at question number two, our variables are the denominators. So go through the same process that we used in the examples that were given earlier. Try as much as possible to write your answers in the comment sections. And don't forget to check back for another video when we release one. And until I come your way again, do have a blessed day. Thank you.